Hey guys, welcome to another episode on my channel. So in previous episode I explained how to install and how to configure VS FTP, FTP server. But now I want to address another question. What if you have a multiple FTP servers and maybe G drive storage and uh, something else? And what if you want to manage all of those storages from the single spot? Well nowadays that is very much possible. Let me show you one solution. If I open my app store from my personal computer and if I search for a list you see that I can install this program on my computer too but I want to use my Zima board and Casa OS uh, for that purpose. So I'm going to open App Store in here and as you can see a list uh, it's among the uh, first applications that you can choose uh, from this list. I'm going to press install next step and wait until it's done. All right, so now if I open it, you see that I have to log in, but I don't have any credentials. So now what I'm going to do, click on forget password. And in here you're going to see instructions how to set a new password. So we have to uh, type command a list admin set new password, but we are using Docker. So we need to use another command, docker exec it list and then command uh, for uh, changing password. I'm going to copy this command. Okay, go back to Casa OS, open your terminal, select your user, log in and now I'm going to type sudo because we need uh, sudo in order to execute this command and instead of server debug I'm going to type admin set and I'm going to set my new password to four times number one. I'm going to provide a password for my user. All right and now what we have to do or I'm going to copy it from here. All right, and now restart. All right, so that's all. I'm going to close this tab. Now I'm going to refresh it and admin one, 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 one. All right, we are in. Now, as you can see, we don't have any element on this list. So I'm going to click on manage, go to storages There's, there are many things that you can do in here like dealing with users create new users and and so on. i'm not going to address those questions right now we are just going to create storages in order to show you how this application works so now in storages tab uh, go to uh, add new storage and first thing that you have to do is to select your driver driver it's actually type of storage that you want to add to your list and you have many types of storages absolutely huge list there is ftp google drive google photo many 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 and what i want to find it's a sftp that is secure ftp now uh, mount uh, path this is actually virtual path where you want to store all of elements uh, from this ftp server so i'm going to call it uh, vs ftpd now what else we have in here we have to uh, check enable sign and address it's uh, 192 168 uh, 26 we have to provide port number for us if uh, for sftp port it's 22 username if you remember from yesterday it's ftp user uh, private key we don't have to provide password it's also ftp user and root folder path okay i'm going to set it to home ftp user all right that's fine and click on add and now i want to create another one now we are going to choose ftp uh, but uh, I have to warn you this method. It's not going to work. I'm going to explain later on why uh, we are going to create mount 
call it Chucky because that's name of uh, my server. And then in here we are going to provide address. Address is 192.168.0.2.1. Uh, I believe. Okay. Username Chucky. Password. You don't have to know this password. All right. Root folder. Okay. And now I'm going to click on add. Uh, but uh, as you know, this is going to produce error. You see? Ah, yes, first we have to provide port. This is going to produce uh, error anyway. You see, uh, non anonymous session must be uh, use encryption. So if you uh, want to use uh, like a user account for FTP, that's not going to work if you don't have encryption enabled. And this FTP server actually doesn't have any encryption enabled. Therefore, I'm going to uh, go back to storages and uh, Chucky, I'm just going to delete it. Confirm, that's okay. And now I'm going to show you a method that is going to work. I'm going to open my local directory and I'm going to open terminal from this place. I'm going to use Python and pyftpdlib. So this is going to be anonymous uh, connection on port 2121 all right and now we have ftp server on uh, port 2121 on my local machine that we can access as anonymous user and what i want to do i want to check if config to see ip address of my local machine it's 24 all right so i'm going to keep this one this one also and i'm going to add so FTP, then mount local machine. All right, now go down uh, to address. So it's 192.168.0.24 with port 2121. Username, we are not going to provide username or uh, anything. Okay, and I'm going to click on add. Ah, yeah, we uh, actually need to provide username in here. Anonymous. Now click on save. Okay, everything works perfectly. And now in order to use these two storages, just go to home and you're going to see this list. So we have our local mach machine, and we have FTP on Zima board. So if I click on this, you, you see that this directory is actually empty. And in order to create something, I'm going to create a new file for example, txt. Okay, we have this new file. Now I'm going to check my directory. Okay, new file for example. And new document let's see empty file i'm just going to rename it test file let's see in here i'm going to refresh it and we have this test file to go back and now let's check our uh, uh, vs ftpd and in here i'm also going to create one new file file also call it test file txt all right but i have to refresh this and now we have this test file and in order to access this ftp server i am going to use my file zilla uh yes uh, sftp 192.168.0.26 ftp user ftp user and on port 22 let's check what we have in here and yes we have this test file txt all right i don't need this anymore and if uh, you want to delete some of these storages just go back to manage go to storage and i'm going to delete this local machine just delete it all right go back to home and you see there is only one left 
So guys, that's all for this episode. I hope that you learned something new, something interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya.